Today we are going to be making some homemade hand sanitizer. Super easy recipe. One part aloe vera gel, two parts 91% rubbing alcohol. Mix it together, add a little essential oil if you'd like to make it smell better, and you are all set. So I'm gonna show you what to do. It's quick, less than a minute, and you're ready to go. Really easy, really quick. Two parts rubbing alcohol. I took a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol, twice, that's a half a cup of rubbing alcohol. And now I'm gonna do a quarter cup of aloe vera gel. So here is my quarter cup of aloe vera gel. I'm gonna just dump that in the rubbing alcohol, spoon it in. No big mystery here, this is easy. Mix it up. I'm gonna mix that until it is incorporated. And I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that. Dollar store, a container for ketchup or mustard, like when you have a picnic. I'm gonna transfer this liquid and gel mixture into here and shake it up. Okay, see it? Quarter cup of aloe vera gel, a half a cup of rubbing alcohol. If you wanna add some fragrance that you like that also has antimicrobial benefits, here's some lavender oil. You can use any essential oil that you like. Super easy, see how it's still a thick gel? Now, I guess you probably don't want this in your purse or you don't want your kids taking a big ketchup or mustard condiment bottle in their backpack to school. So what I do is I buy these little things. These are from Target. This is one for salad dressing from the dollar store. Take the cap off. So not only is using this condiment bottle excellent for mixing, easy filling, squirt it in there. Look at that, beautiful. It's mixed, it's a good consistency. Super accurate dispensing. It smells good because of lavender. Pop the top on. And you have made super effective, inexpensive homemade hand sanitizer. Works good, smells good, feels good.